Doctor Who The Room in Space Episode 4 Restroom Burnett What's all this that supposed to mean? Doctor, the seven men are fretting the space is space wheel. Burnett, seven men? Where do you dream up a name like that? Zoe, the study of a system of control and communication. Animals and devices such as supernetic machines. Burnett, what are you talking about? Zoe, cybernetics. Cybernetics. Burnett, I know there is... I don't know all there is to know about cybernetics. I don't need a lecture from you, Doctor. But Cybermen is this. You've got to believe me. You've got to, Burnett. On the evidence, one fate up. You X-ray shot? Sorry, it's not faked up. I took it myself, Controller. Burnett, well, what are these Cybermen then? Doctor, they were once human. Men, human beings like yourself. From the planet Mordress. And now they're more robot than man. Burnett, you mean half and half? Doctor, no more than that. Their entire bodies are mechanical. Their brains have been treated. Neurosurgery to remove all emotion, human emotions. All sense of pain. They're ruthless, inhuman killers. Burnett, you don't really expect me not to believe that rubbish? Doctor, it's not rubbish. They'll kill anybody. Anyone who stands in their path. You've got to believe me. You've got to. Rocket, rocket control room, Cybermen, you are ferrying us to the wheel, obey, inside the wheel, you will help us. Two Cybermen climb into the large empty crate, uh, crate and lie down. Let them in the balance, fit a full floor all over them, and fill the space with Valerian fuel rods. Rest room, Doctor, don't you understand the Cybermen will get inside the space wheel? But it, nothing just comes in. And out of this wheel, this wheel, what do you think this is, a jet heliport? Doctor, they already sent the siren or mats in to weaken you. Jamie, look, listen to him. He's telling the truth, Bennett. No, I tell you what he's doing, what too many people are trying to do. I don't know why. It must be space sickness. It's spreading fear, alarm, terror. Just think I can't see it. Cohen is a seer, Jarvis. At least listen. But how could anyone get inside the wheel, Gemma? How? I could get through the airlock. Perhaps it float through the loading bay in the full view of everybody. Cohen is still worth listening and taking precautions just in case there's some truth in all this. But don't try and tell me my job, Gemma. I am in control of this wheel and things will be run my way. Any orders to the contrary? Can come from Earth Central, that's what. But it stops mid sentence and leaves, Doctor. Oh dear, how can you convince a man like that to go in? That X ray, I think Bill Duggan could, could should see it. Go and find him, will you, Zoe? Zoe, he isn't. Isn't he confined to his quarters? Go in. Have him brought here, under guard if necessary, but get him here, I'll be responsible. Zoe leaves, go in. Jarvis is right about one thing, Doctor. He's saying men of yours can't walk to will, you know. Doctor, they'll find a way. Lederman, Lederman and Venice are space, walking back to the wheel, trailing the crate behind them. Wheel operations room. Lederhoff is in charge of the shift. Caselli is put in to earth. Caselli rain belts block normal. The complete the advanced weather information. Earth Central, this is space station. W3, vocal signing out. Voice, thank you, W3. Thanks for good news, signing out. Gasselli, survey party coming in. You, yes, come in. Survey party, balance coming to loading bay control. Now, ask why air clock five is already, is, is already. Gasselli, is anything wrong? Air clock five is ready for you. Balance, we found a whole crate of beryllium on the rocket. Bring it over to with us. Approval, please. Control. Caselli, this buck. The old man, this will buck up the old man a bit. Then off. Yes, I'll go and check, Caselli. Just checking the control. Amen. Amen. Then wait. Confirmation. But it, yes. (laughs) 
ran off. Survey report to find uh, I find a ballerium. They're bringing it over with oh, for the rocket. Can I give them a go ahead? But it somebody's using their brains at last. Yes, we need it badly. Good work. Good work. And off all right, a crow. Good study. Hello, survey party. All clear on the cargo now. I'm clearing the loading bay for your arrival. Love close off layer lock five and clear loading bay. Rest from Duncan. Well, that was that's it, all right. Cohen, what's what? What's your call, Billy Bug? Duncan, yes. Cohen, you sure about this, Duncan? I'm definite. I thought I'd come across some strange space creature. Doctor, it's a navy machine, destructive, capable of killing. Duncan, you seem to look like a space rodent. Look, I know you can. I know you think I'm all think I'm crazy, but Cohen. Of course not, Bill. After all, you discovered space flora out there here. When you thought, found that, so Matt, you obviously thought it was a space fauna. Doctor, yes, it's pity you didn't tell someone sooner. Duncan, maybe so, Doc. But look at what happened when I did tell you, the old man. Doctor, yes, Zoe, I better take you back, Bill. I've got some new calculations on those meteorites. Half the size fleet might be flying straight into them. So in Duncan Lee, Doctor Matrites? Yes, Helen Mate must have sent must have sent in to destroy the fair laser gun, but Cohen what they then he did. Doctor what? Cohen well I assume they did. He seemed to have taken likely to all the stock of Blurry on board. A laser needs constant supplies of blurry rods. Doctor you see, Jamie? Jamie, I see enough. If you haven't Put the laser out of action. If I hadn't put the laser out of action, our action segments would have. Dirty doctor, yes, but why? Jamie's obvious. Put the wheel out of action and make it defenseless, doctor. But the wheel must have other defenses. Carry magnetic field detectors, a Mason field shield, that can counteract small meteorites. But I don't know. I think the brain was destroyed for another purpose. But what? What? Left him and vanished and entered the loading bay with a crate. Our indoors closed and the bay is pressurized. We are operations room. Zoe, progress reading on the star, Hercules, Toy, and Missile 13. Radar computer reading. Jamie, what are you doing? Zoe, bank A208.16, A, bank B321.64, lateral grid. Jamie, what are you talking to yourself? Say, James Robert Concrebin, do you realize what you've done? Do you what have I done? Say, I was recording some of your very important readings. Now you're on my tape. Do you, huh? Say, progress with readings of the star. Hercules 208 and Mesa 13. Say, how do you do that without making, moving your lips? Say, radar computer reading. Jamie, what are you doing? Very, bank A. 208.16, bank B. 321.64 lateral grade. Jamie, are you talking to yourself? Jamie, sorry, have I ruined it? Zoe, no, not really. Corridor, is there, is there anything you want? James, no, I'm all right. Say, so, oh, well, I've got some calculations to do on these new fight readings. Jamie, I, everybody's so busy, but not that they talk to me anyway. Zoe, so, well, you can get off. Well, you did get off to a bad start. Do you, you mean running the laser? With the laser eye, I suppose. I did. Anyway, I had to do that. So why? Jimmy, well, well, I can't really tell you. Power room. Power room. Flan, how would you mind? Hold, would you hold the light still, Flanagan? Flanagan, my arm's been getting tired. Right, oh, you're a great help. And you just another few seconds, sir. Right, would you... Get me the, that drive it over there. Come on, hurry up. Right. Now my beauty, but it enters. Right, how long how is it going? Right, oh well oh hello, sir. All right, Peggy. Well the boys could do with a break. They've worked non stop, but it I'm giving all you all, Bill Duggan, no reasons why you can't make can't make yourself yourself useful. But you others take a break. Keep up the good work, Ryan. Right, sir, Bonnet, yes. Bonnet leaves, Duncan enters. 
Ryan, oh boy, I'm glad to see you, Bill. Bill, how about how does it look? Ryan, we just oh, we just had a bit of luck. The central de- deployment complex didn't didn't get any plexi. They went, oh, that's great. What about the bellium? Right, oh, I haven't got around to that yet. Come on, you two hop to it. Well, they go, well, it's all the same to you, sir. We'll just grab a snack and go back. Be back in five minutes. Well, and you make 40. You might take 45 minutes and like it. So they're going to find a good right in the leave. Well, Duncan, what about you? You look done in, Ryan. Oh, I can't leave you on your own. It needs at least two to handle this thing. Chang, some people have all the luck. The controller said you needed some help, of course. I've only done two watches in a row. Ryan, congratulations, I've done three. Duncan, go on. Go, oh, go and shove off, Leo. Chang and I can handle this. Ryan, well, I... Duncan, come on. I know how to get the brain, don't I? This room, Cohen is a strongly X-ray. Dr. Skull, not the cyber mat. Dr. Strongly, strongly. Cohen, I dare say you've got a headache for quite a while. At least there's no damage. Doctor, oh, so glad there's no damage, Miss Cohen. Cohen? Yes, Doctor. Oh, please, my, oh, my. Oh, oh, forgive me. Cohen, my husband died in an asteroid belt for years ago. Doctor, oh, I'm so sorry. Cohen, my name is Gemma. Dr. Gemma, how nice. Gemma, tell me. Tell me about the controller, Jarvis. Cohen, tell you about what? Doctor, he's a strange man in to be a position like this, Cohen. A very an older experiences? No. Did ever, are there any other older experiences in space? Cohen, Jarvis is simply a man who can accept, can't accept phenomena outside the laws of physics. Doctor, yes, they're very accurate. Cohen, where are you going to, where are you, where are you, when, uh, where are you going to say diagnosis? Doctor, you are very perceptive. Doctor Cohen, you see this falling, falling, you see, you see this falling of a, of his, of uh, weakness? Doctor, don't you? Cohen, not only he, but more than a couple, a commanding this capable of commanding station continues to mercy for responsibility. But exactly, one does wonder when a ma- what a man like that would do when faced with a problem which he knows solution. Cohen, I must confess, I've been concerned. Jarvis shows signs of blocking off his mind. He can't face the truth. We all uh, operations room, but it everything in order here. Linoff, well, but it yes, yes, I can see it. It is. Good, good. Rest room, Cohen. But you need rest. You really shouldn't go get up yet. Doctor, of course I have to get up. Cohen, uh, can you ever see him in the rest? Ramey, ah, oh, no good trying to stop him. Cohen, not, a, but it's too, it's much too soon. Doctor, now, Gerald, be reasonable. I know the danger Simon need to colonize. He must find out the treasure of Earth. Cohen, you can't leave this room. Jarvis has given orders. Doctor, he's not in control of himself. Cohen, I sorry, Doctor. I ca- I can't countermand any orders. It's a, the current control is issued. Jerry, he's as stubborn as he, he's as stubborn as you are. Corridor, Burnett to guard everyone. Thing in order. Good, good. Restroom, Burnett up. I'm gonna get up. Up and again, huh? The, 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 that was better done, the tour, Gemma. Everything's running like clockwork, Cohen. Fine, I'd like to talk to you about the rocket. But it, yes, everything is going very, very well indeed. You want to, want to stretch your legs? Get someone to take you round. Doctor, oh, thank you. You, you tell the guard, won't you? But it, to guard, off you go. Everything's in order here. But Jar- Cohen, yeah, Jarvis, but it, you might like Want to make a note about morale, Gemma? It's excellent. Never been better. Cohen, but, Burnett, yes, there's nothing we can't handle. Nothing. Tie in now. Tie in, in I suppose, and get some sleep. Oh, that's good. I need you first watch. Yes, so keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Power room. Duncan inspecting some of the remaining rebellion rods. Duncan, there's no good. They are, they're no good anyway. They're covered in plastic. 
Chain, let me remember that. Let's brought back a load of beryllium with a rocket. Don't go well, just don't stand there. Go and grab a, a dozen sticks with a bit, a bit of luck. We'll place these and resemble. We assemble in a couple of hours. Well, go on, chop, chop, chain. Along the way, loading bay, chain. Goes down the steps of the empty bay. A crate has been unpacked and boxes of barium are next to it. Chain picks up one, about to leave when he notices the crate is not what it should be. He is a lifter board and a false bottom and looks inside. His empty metallic hand grabs his shoulder. Chain twists away and throws a barium at the Cybermen, making it stagger. The second Cyberman appears with Lillian Valance. Chain, help me. Chang runs for the steps. The Cybermen zap him with energy their chest units. Let him advance each pick up a box of rain. Leave his Cybermen just pose as Chang. Real operations room. And then the cement panel comes to life. Lenoth in Retco? Lenoth. Oh, hello, Leo. Kasali, hello, Chief. Lenoth. Have you had, had, have you had noticed anyone using the wasting surrenderator in Loading Bay? Can you tell you? No, I don't think so. I'll check. Well, what's happened? Then I think somebody just used the incinerator in the Loading Bay, that's all. Can you tell you? No, that's not, there's nothing here. Ryan, you better put, put it in the log, Tara. So, it was someone's for the high jump. So he's for the air jump. Panel with Lenham and Valance enter them uh, with their boxes. Duncan, hello boys, hey, good on you. Where's Chang? Layman, because his hand is gone to the medical bay. Duncan, trust him. Valance, anything to be, anything to be done? Duncan, yeah, you can hold up, up a box of rods. Get this well job licked. Just hope the rods are not are the real dimensions. That's all, Lincoln. They are, Duncan. Since when have you been an expert? Valance. Lasers were to make to be operative, and the meteorites would, would destroy the world. Will Duncan? No. Why do you? Why do you think I'm sweating my back off here? Hey, what's up with him, Lincoln? They are the right one, Duncan. Yes, you, they, you, so they, you are. We, uh, you must be psychic, but don't tell him the old man doesn't believe in extra sensory perception. Duncan puts a rod in the capacitator. Duncan, hey, this is a perfect marvelous verse. When will the repair? When will the repair be finished, Duncan? I, I won't be done at, at all if you keep nattering. Then it's the meat rates must have not harmed the wheel. Duncan, the storm really worries you, doesn't it? Well, don't let it, don't let it. I have a close call, but I reckon you have this laser ready and operation for six or seven hours. You, you can sleep in your beds like babies. Perry, your daddy won't let, won't, won't anything happen to you. Duncan, I dug it back. Valance opens the door and lets the sober me in. Duncan, now, if you really want to make yourself useful, Duncan turns a, a sea segment, uses hip, which uses its hip, no, it's hypnosis beam on him. So, men, the wheel must be protected from each rates. We will assemble your analysis of defense rays. You'll go to central control. Duncan. Central control. Lineman. The operations room. So, men, uh, these are your orders. Rest room. Doctor come in and reading. Bonnet's medical file when Zoe enters. Crying, oh, Zoe, if it's you, what do you want? Zoe, well, it's rather difficult to explain. Cohen, what is it? Zoe, well, I've done the report, some calculations I've been doing. I've ordered to forget them. Cohen, forget, ordered? By whom? What part of port? Zoe, my calculations, the whole blue path of the meteorite storm. I found a new element which indicated a critical state. I reported my findings to the coin roller. Cohen, and he ignored them. Zoe, yes, well, you don't sound very surprised. Cohen, no. Zoe, well, he said he was perfectly normal. Oh, he was all perfectly normal, but it isn't. Cohen, he's getting worse. Zoe, is he ill? Cohen, I don't know yet. Zoe, well, he's, he's chosen a rather convenient time, hasn't he? Cohen, do you ever, do you ever feel anything emotional, Joey? Zoe, emotional? Do you, do you know? It's the second time I've been asked like that in the last few hours. Do you know Ryan? It was all brains and no heart. 
going yet it's your, it's your training i shouldn't worry about it say oh but i do i don't want to be thought as a freak Leo said i was not like a robot machine i think he's right my head's been pumped out full of facts and figures that which will help dramatically which were needed but why well, i want to feel the feel things as well Cohen, good. Unfortunately, the parapsychology unit has said he tends to ignore these aspects. People, some of them never fully developed the human emotions. So you don't, you don't think I'll be like that, do you? Cohen, no. You seem to have survived brainwashing techniques remarkably well. Say, so, oh, good, Cohen. Now, about these, these calculations of yours. Real operations room. Doctor get, is getting a tour. Enough? This one is how we check everything. Doctor, I see. Ryan, yes. Everything that uses energy on the wheel have a small reddit on this wall. We'll coffee grind it upwards. Doctor, do you have any coffee? Jane, Ryan, would you like some? Doctor, I'd love some. I really would. Dunoff, I have a co- co- coffee pellet. Would you like one? Doctor, that's better than nothing. Zoe enters and catches the attention. And catches their attention. Ryan, excuse me, Dr. Tanya. Dr. Oh, yes, of course. Jamie, Doctor, don't forget we we need the Mercury stuff from the, the TARDIS, Doctor. No, Jamie, I haven't forgotten. I'm worried about the TARDIS. I found right the Cybermen are. Uh, there's a Cybermen are. What's going on? There's a tense conversation happening. Jamie, let's find out. Doctor, what's going on, Zoe? Zoe, I've done some new calculations on an orbital path to meteorite storm, heading towards us faster than we could thought. Jamie, don't you have any... Cheerful news? Sorry, facts are facts. These are dis- disputable. Doctor, I wouldn't dream of contracting you. Can you repair the laser gun in time? Sorry, well, that's not the worry. It's the con- controller. I want it, went him, him with the new data and the meteorites. He just brushed the fell thing aside. Doctor, oh dear, it's getting worse. Sorry. Well, that's about, that's what Dr. Cohen says. He's ill, isn't he? Doctor, why aren't you worried about the laser gun? For all the barbarian had been destroyed. Say, so, oh, some more turned up. Doctor, oh, good. D- yeah, d- yes, two of the men brought a crate it over from the rocket. Doctor, oh, what? What, do you, what did you say? Say, so, well, that's what Flanagan said. I met him when he was going off duty. D- Doctor, Gemma, Gemma, do you know about this? Did you know about this barbarian from the rocket? Cohen, yes, tell him, tell me. Doctor, don't you see what it means? The Cybermen are here. They're over. They came over in that crate. Cohen, how could you? How? But how could our two men have brought them over here? Them over? Doctor, they didn't know what they were doing. They have been weighing orders. Cohen, the Cybermen hypnotized them? Doctor, yes, something like that. Cohen, we're not exactly children, Doctor. All space are protected against brain control by drugs. Doctor, yes, but that's a psychotropic drug. It's only effective against, against a known enemy. Have you induced repulsion in all parts of the brain yet? Cohen, no, but it's in partial planted select capsules. It gives us a signal when there's an adverse influence against the wearer. Doctor, can we check? Cohen, turn there. I want to check the cellular calendar circuit. No, no, but I shall have to activate a whole defense network. Cohen, I will phrase the actual power. Lenoff, watch the lines. If it's steady, everything's normal. Doctor, I see. Lenoff, try this room first, Doctor. Yes, yes, please. That's, that, is that all right? Jamie and Duncan, see. Jamie and Zoe, see Duncan. Jamie, what's happening? What's he hanging around for? I thought you'd under guard or something. Zoe, so did I. Bill was in the court, well, has a corridor. Duncan knows Zoe goes past. Lenoff, hey, wait a minute, look. Cohen, someone's infect, 
someone is affected, Doctor. You're right, Lenoff. Someone is in this room. Doctor, ah, oh, can we pin it down to the individual? Lenoff, I'll uh, uh, call to the room off. Over here, in the direction of Doctor No, stop him. Duncan smashes the communication desk with a sort of his spanner. He goes bang, killing Duncan. Doctor, he's dead. Now listen, listen, everyone. The Simon here is on this wheel. They took over this poor fellow to stop the you standing for help and sprinkling to earth. Now just a minute, Gemma, you must let, alert the whole wheel. You need something stronger than drugs to stop people from being taken over. It doesn't matter how crude it is. A metal plate, a transistor would do. Tape them to the back of the neck. It will resolve the cyber controls. Signals. Ryan, I can do that? Doctor, yes, good. Then if I help you, Doctor, right. Jamie, what do we do? Doctor, we're going hunting, Jamie. Jamie, are you sure you know who's going to... Are you sure you know who's going to be hunted? Doctor, a very good question. Come on. The doctor and Jamie leaves. Zoe, can I do anything? Zo- then off, no. Zoe, is there anything I can do? Then off, well, all right. Loading bay, the doctor and Jamie are carefully to descend the steps. And the crate of limb is still there. Doctor? Jamie, doctor? Doctor, what is it? Jamie, there it is. Doctor, Jamie, I know. Now hush, shush. The doctor examines the crate and finds the false bottom. Jamie, is it? Is it? He, is it there, here? Jamie, Doctor, yes. This is it. Jamie, how, how could you, how could I get in here? Doctor, it's a false bottom, you see. The rest of the search, the, they start to search the rest of the bay when the metal, when they hear metal or metal, so a man is coming down the step. 